What up, beautiful black people? <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. I hope this evening, uh, nighttime finds you all well, early morning for some. Uh, I'm sure that many of you have heard the news. Mr. Charleston White uh, evidently has uh, been taken into custody for, um, I guess I see about three charges here. Uh, apparently that's true. And also, you know, I've been seeing a, 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 a large amount of, um, celebration and cheering. Uh, and, um, not so, uh, much of well-wishing, but, um, uh, they gonna get him when he get in jail. I guess he gonna have to snitch his way up out of this. Uh, you know, various things that he gonna have to give up all them guns. He gonna have to get all them guns back now. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, for someone who, you know, when well, you're speaking of someone who hasn't, um, been found to do nothing wrong, you know what I mean? I mean, I should say nothing wrong, per se. Uh, not purposefully, uh, done any harm to anybody. Uh, he, not that, I don't know where he, he may or may not be out. You know, I, I, I can't call him. You know, uh, Mr. Charles is a man of mystery also, you know. Um, uh, we also gotta, uh, consider the source in which, um, <laughs> you know, say cheese be having the scoop, though, but say cheese would have the scoop. And, you know, people talking about, you know, or this and that and the third. Them warrants is out of Tarrant County. Uh. They, hey, they ain't gonna bother Mr. Charleston in Tarrant County. Um, so he may be out. I, I would guess he, he ain't gonna sit there that long. And, and if they don't have no bond, the bond say zero. They ain't set a bond. So soon as he go before the, uh, the mag magistrate, the judge, uh, they'll be to figure it out what he, uh, what he gotta pay to get out. You know, goddamn them, them damn the aggravated assault charges he just, uh, beat. The the last one, uh, you know, but he he, he say he say he, he got him he got uh, he got plenty he got bond money, he got lawyer money, uh, and he got a promise he said and and not to offend not to be uh, perceived as being anti-Semitic he got him a Jew, a Jewish lawyer. So um, I have no doubt that this Charles is gonna be all right, but it's the celebration part that gets me. All this celebrating, you know. Uh, I read one dude comment said, I've been praying for his downfall for, for so long. Uh, you know, I'm like, man, y'all, y'all, that man just really hurts you guys' emotions and character. And it, it's, it's, it's not so much, uh, uh, I can't understand why y'all might be offended by some of the things a man might say, but you know, he say shit about everybody. So it's not like he's being discriminatory toward who he, uh, uh, places his criticism and character towards. And the man continues to say, I, I get on here. I don't be, uh, mean and have the shit I say, but I, you don't know what party mean. And then, and then, and then the opposition to guess it's all about what you get out of, out of it. And that is what that is. But I'm going back to the celebration part. I'm like, well, you know, uh, the man ain't doing that. Yeah, he claimed to be a, a, a activist, a community guy, a, a, a youth advocate. Who going to let their kids around him? He being cruel to animals. I look at it. It's like, okay. They say animal cruelty, and you know, of course, the perception, you know, because Mr. Charles has got on here, and and and, and you know, and I, and in my mind, I believe he been dropping dropping breadcrumbs on it for a minute, because he just recently talked about, yeah, I used to do all kind of things to, to you know, as a kid to animals, but on this particular thing, you know, talking about grasshoppers, uh, he said so the one story he said recently about how he uh had had a uh, grasshoppers and he had like a battery a a, a, a nine volt battery the nigga had some calculated shit but i guess when you in the house by yourself 
Because he said up to age five, you know, at age five when he hurt himself, uh, he was in the house most of the time. And, you know, when you in the house by yourself, because I'm, I'm an introvert myself. And I always been like that since I was a kid. And you have a, a, you around a lot of shit to read. You lot you you have a lot of opportunity to do shit. You're gonna do wild shit. You know, and I mean I can't go and say, you know, but it ain't about this post ain't about me, but I can relate to the story, you know, to the accounts that Mr. Charleston gave about his youth in regards to uh small critics. Now they say that's associated with being a serial killer, but you know, they said that in a fucking movie, so who knows. But it said on here, um, cruelty to non livestock animals fell to P R O V. Now it says he failed to. It doesn't say that he took a stick and whooped out and whooped the animal to death, or or shot an animal, or, or sprayed mace on an animal like there's been been being said in the comment section on 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 a few threads. Uh, it says failure to to provide. I mean, that's, that's what I'm presuming. Failure to provide. Um, now, we know if, if we uh, keep up with Charles and White, Charles and White has three residences that, residencies that he claims, and he's always also on the road. So, you know, he got the big house, and the big house is where the little dog stays. The wife is always is on the road, you know, so if they leave the dog by itself, if they have to leave the dog by itself, I'm sure the dog has plenty of food. It's, I don't think it's a failure to provide in regards to the dog ain't got nothing to eat. I think that the dog, because the dog barks a lot. So if people hear the dog barking a lot all the time, somebody, you know, in, in this area in town where everybody got to be a busy motherfucking body about shit. They heard the dog barking and they, and they called uh, probably animal services. Animal services probably came aggressively. Well, I should not. I'm just making presumptions. This may or may not be true. This is just the, the uh, what I'm getting from this. Because it's not like you know. Maybe he may have been a character once upon a time when he did get in, um, have a uh, uh, have a conflict with animal services before. Free Charleston White. You, you got damn right, Mama T. You know, it might have been a situation with uh, he had a he um had a conflict with animal services, and I, I don't I don't know I don't. Uh, they say assault with a, uh, let me read this charge here. Cause God damn, Mr. Charlie. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Lord have mercy, Mr. Charlie. What do you, I, 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 <laughs> uh, damn it. Them some heavy charges, you know, and then it's like I said, well, damn, maybe, maybe they didn't got to that shit about that barbershop shit. Cause that barbershop shit. But suppose my mouth dry, pardon me, y'all. Uh, that barbershop shit, um, they, they, he toned that shit down in my mind for it because, um, man, they, they, I'm thinking that maybe, maybe it might be something to tie to that barbershop shit. I don't know. But, um, in my mind, you know, um, it's easy for people to say, well, he 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 was on Cam Newton show and uh, he he dropped so much game that now the people are after him. Shit, man. Uh, no, just just wait for Mr. Charles to come out and say what happened, cause you know he gonna go live and say what the fuck been going on, cause that's what he do. You know how would he even in the midst of um you know I guess uh, uh ch challenging and trying times, if he sees an opportunity to uh capitalized by way of viralization on the uh, social media or what have you, he gonna do it. Now, you got them folks that say how oh, they, you know, uh, this one particular young lady I keep on uh, tipping the letters, you know, she's a she's a social activist, a, a, a media person, um, very successful entrepreneur lady. Um, she has a, a particular issue with Charles and White, so it's like, okay, you know, she made a post about, you know, y'all, y'all leader got arrested per se. And I'm like, OK, that's a fair, that's a fair shot. But it's like, well, I mean, sis, if you can do this, you can do the, You can get this information and this research. Why can't you get information and research about uh, uh, its, its history of doing community service work in, in, uh, in Fort Worth? 
for uh, 12 years. And why can't you get um, all the other pot, you know, like, you know, whatever, whatever. But let me not get too far what we own. Uh, shout out to those people who are speaking negative. Um, you know, if um, Mr. Charles done wrong, he, he know what he say, right is right and wrong is wrong. He gonna have to deal with what it is. Uh, if we choose to pray, if you choose to pray for Mr. Charleston, he may not give a damn whether you do or don't, but hell, uh, that's all in your spirit and your soul. If you choose to hate on what's going on, you, you rather you celebrate and relish in the plight of a nigga. I thought y'all, a lot of y'all, y'all, I thought y'all thug niggas say, uh, I wouldn't wish jail on my worst enemy. Y'all act like Mr. Charles and y'all worst enemy ain't done, and ain't, 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 ain't. Y'all ain't got paperwork on him telling on now one of y'all sons of bitches. But I'm on here talking, man. Uh, that's all I'm doing. I came on here to holler. Uh, free my nigga. Free my nigga Charles and White. Um, I appreciate it. I guess that's Mama T out here watching with me. Uh, I'll holler at y'all on the next go round. Peace and love.